Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are starting another chain of adventures, and right now I'm in Oman in a city called Muscat, and this is actually the international airport of Muscat. And as you can see below, we have a uh, duty free shops. This airport is probably not the biggest I have been to, but it's quite organized quite nice everything you need and also there are lots of lunges here and this is actually one of the objectives for me today to show you the lunch which I'm gonna go and spend a few hours so I'm spending approximately 16 hours in in this airport in Muscat International Airport and as you can guess gonna be a little bit tough so that's why I wanted to treat myself, get to the lunch and also do some work, relax and spend a few hours there. And the name of the actually the this beautiful lunch is very special. I will show you in a second. It's called Machan. <laughs> actual name is actually Majan, I think. Uh, but I'm gonna call it Machan. That will be the perfect coincidence maybe it's not coincidence really hello I'm back <laughs> how are you uh, so I decided to go for the lunch so we're gonna do six hours one and you're gonna give me two hours extra yeah and I'm filming is it okay it's for me for YouTube yeah perfect that sounds great so uh what do you need from me passport or oh, yeah, boarding, pass. boarding pass okay beautiful let me see where's my uh, uh, passport is here and the inside the is the boarding pass is inside as well yeah sure i will do the debit card and also we're gonna do the tour of the lunch here can I please ask what's the name of the lunch? How Majan do you... lunch, sir. Majan. Yes. Okay. So I was calling it calling it Machan, but it's Majan. Majan lunch. Majan. Beautiful. So total will be sixty-four dollars, right? Beautiful. I will pay with the debit card. So normally the rate here is three hours. So like 46 US dollars. Yeah, so three hours is 32 dollars, correct? Yes, sir. So three hours package is 32 hours. I'm getting double package. And on top of that, they're giving me two hours free as well. So I'm gonna end up spending eight full hours here. And I hope you have a good internet. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's different than uh, airports? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. So there will not be limits, basically, for the internet access. And then I can get out and get in. It's okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay. okay. Thank Perfect. you, sir. Enjoy your stay. Amazing. So you don't give me anything like cart or or something? No, sir, no. Just, Thank you just so this. Much. Enjoy Beautiful. Stay, sir. Thank you so much. I will explore. Okay. Beautiful, we just paid uh, approximately 64 American dollars for this lunch. Spend the next uh, eight hours. As I mentioned, two hours of it is actually free of charge because I'm staying longer. So we are in a Machan uh, lunch in Oman in Muscat International Airport. This is the sitting area they have. I think this is more like a coffee area. I can see a beautiful bar. And that also includes actually food, beverages and drinks. I can see Karak tea here. I can see Arabic coffee right here. That looks actually beautiful. We have some pastry snacks and we also have a uh, lemonade here. Fresh orange juice, detox water. Oh wow, look at this. We have so much fruits here. That looks amazing. I'm gonna enjoy this part definitely and we have some desserts here fru fruit yogurt and then normal yogurt we have more packed uh, pastries here and I guess these are the more breakfast stuff which I'm gonna go right away to check out and also show you oh wow that that that's probably omelette and a special form and shape 
which I have never seen. Ah, no, it's actually potato, leek potato. It's not the omelet. And then we have potato resti. It's just uh, fried potatoes. And we have a vegetable snack. Amazing. And then this is the pancakes. Pancakes and then also grilled turkey. That looks amazing. Wow, I'm impressed. This is definitely cost more than $64. <laughs> Amount of I will eat here gonna exceed $64 for sure. And we also have some uh, cheese here and then more veggies. Wow, so cool. We have an espresso machine here and here are the capsules as well. We have different type of sugar, different type of tea. So cool. I'm gonna start with the fresh juice. That would be great. Amazing. And then also I want to show you the area where you can work, where you can chill. There's no beds, that's for sure. Ah, they even have showers here. Oh, they have a shower. Let me check it. Okay, maybe it's closed. Maybe we check it later, after we finish our juice. Uh, question, you have also showers here? Yeah, amazing. That sounds great. So yes, they do have the showers. Yeah, this way? Okay. Okay, so... This is the area where you can actually cheat, seal, uh, cheat, uh, cheat, cheat, not cheat, <laughs> sit and chill. And uh, like if you are with someone here, basically you can just um, relax, talk. They also have a, I'm gonna just leave this here for a second, not to spill it over. Wow, I like this sitting space. How cool is that? can just sit down and then this table moves around and then also they have a massage machines or massage table which is included in the price as well so wow that's super complex remote actually looks great and then in this area you also have beautiful area where you can sit and also control your flight so you have a good visibility you don't have to go downstairs and then this is the beautiful area for working looks incredible I'm like super impressed to be honest as well as here they have a meeting rooms in case you are want to do calls maybe or business conferences if you are here with your business partners why not to do it together and this beautiful lunch you are kidding me no this is this is not serious this is not happening <laughs> you cannot believe guys what I am looking at right now okay let me give you the introduction like we are coming and then you get the same feeling okay check this out there's like narrow wall right here by the gigantic two walls and then there's a way to get in and this is the entrance oh my god this is amazing this is more like a spa to me to be honest like there's a small pool in the middle this light are just amazing two different colors and then you have the area to relax i told you they don't have beds but they have like inclined beds basically you can put your legs up and then relax here there are more space to sit and then you have the toilets and the showers again here this is amazing so basically when you think about it you are paying approximately like eight um, so 32 dollars for three hours which means basically you are paying 10 american dollars per hour 
just because I'm getting two uh, hours extra on top of it, it ends up paying like eight American dollars, including this beautiful space. You have an internet, you have a food, you have snacks, and nice people working here as well. And then you don't have to leave to hotel or anything else. You don't need to transfer yourself to the different part of the city to stay. And yeah, eight dollars per hour with the snacks, with the food, and this amazing space. Beautiful. This is probably my most favorite place. After I do the work, I'm just gonna come and chill here and relax. So, so, so cool. Probably this is the main space I'm gonna use to connect to the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connection, Machan, password Machan 123. So cool. I hope I'm not gonna gain another 10 kilo here by just being here, sitting here and working. Amazing. I don't know where I left my orange juice, but we're gonna go and get it. And then maybe we can go check out the uh, meeting rooms as well. How do they look first? Oh, they even have a space for the kids here this is amazing they have like a whole room with the toys and everything to play around and they also can spend great time here and wait for your next flights to your destination to your loved ones i'm gonna test out the table which seemed very cool so we'll just like sit here oh super comfy this is like super comfy <laughs> and then you can have your snacks here maybe your laptop to do some work and also kind of it isolates you from the rest of the room so you have a little bit more privacy and also a little bit more silence and then when you get up you have the view to the duty-free shops downstairs There are actually more lunches, like there's one there which is called Flight Club and then there's a, another, this one is actually hotel, our hotel and then there's another lunch downstairs. So this is the one which is the <clears throat> the highest point in the, at the airport. Okay, let's, where's our juice? I keep forgetting my juice. We're gonna go check out the meeting rooms. Machan lunch. Let's try the juice. Mm. That's super fresh. Freshly squeezed. So once you come, you can enter to the meeting room. We have a TV here as well, in case you want to present something from your laptop. And then you have a space to sit for four people. Beautiful. And then let's go check out what are the snacks they have there. I guess this is gonna be some coffee. It says Arabic coffee. Is it warm? Yeah, it's kind of warm. There's a cups here. And then we have some snacks. These are like uh, salted peanuts. And then we have a cake here actually, which I'm gonna take probably one and then enjoy it. Amazing. So this is the tour of the $64, $65 lunch tour in Muscat International Airport in Oman. Great. Thank you so much guys for joining and we're gonna see you in the next videos. There are more exciting things coming from my next trip. See you later. So while I'm enjoying this beautiful place here and having amazing food and also resting, working, there's something much more serious and also the most important thing which I wanted to share with you guys, why I am here, why right now I am in Oman and right now I'm actually in layover. Basically I've been here I think already six hours, seven hours and I still have let's say another four or five hours to go and 
I am heading to my beloved country, to Sri Lanka. I said my country, I'm from originally from Azerbaijan, but Sri Lanka is very close to my heart. I love this country and this is the place where people help me to be where I am today. Uh, as you know from the news, the situation in Sri Lanka is not in best shape. There are lots of problems and even like we are having our food, enjoying this fresh juice here. While I'm sitting here, there are millions of Sri Lankans which are struggling at the moment with basic needs, which means uh, they don't even think about three meals a day anymore. There are um, medical shortages, fuel shortages, electricity shortages, and um, <clears throat> even the roads are almost empty in Sri Lanka because there's not enough um, petrol inside the country and on top of everything there's also political issues which I'm not gonna get into you can see the reports on YouTube and other uh, platforms including news so the main reason I have decided to go back to Sri Lanka um, there are several reasons but I will list three of them which is very important to mention I want to first of all report back to the people who is outside the country to understand what's the current situation and second I want to get back to promoting the country I love the I love Sri Lanka I love Sri Lankans as well so I feel like this is the best time where my work can make a difference and finally and the main reason I'm going back is to help locals, help the local community who helped me actually to grow my YouTube channel. Um, maybe you have seen already in other videos like a few uh, months ago when I arrived to Sri Lanka, I actually had a conversation with my friend. I told them, you know, Sri Lanka is the last country I try YouTube because I tried so many countries, it just didn't work. I said, you know, I, ma I can make a uh, living from other stuff and I can extend that rather than putting my energy on YouTube. So Sri Lanka was the basically last country. I said, I try, it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But from since first video my videos just blew up I started growing I got the motivation back I learned so much about Sri Lanka I started loving Sri Lanka as much more uh, before arrival I almost didn't know anything about the country but now I feel like it's my I feel like Sri Lanka is my country and I don't feel like I'm going to a foreign country so this trip gonna be more focused on the mission I'm gonna be more focused on um, helping people uh, showing the current situation reporting back to people uh, what's going on and what's the current situation also promote the country for tourism again uh, hopefully people can see the videos and then they would be more comfortable with the idea of safety I know that Sri Lanka is super safe and there are some protests happening in Colombo but uh, otherwise the country itself is super safe uh, because people are super nice. So promotion, reporting back to you guys and the main, main, main objective is to help the community, help the local people in the villages, that would be my focus. So I'm going to Sri Lanka this time with a full focus in mission, helping and providing for the families who are in need. So there will be more details in this video or maybe in the next videos what I'm gonna try to do. I will need also your help probably uh, from the people who is living outside the country. Um, so we are gonna run donation projects. So that will be the main objective. Um, this is something I have never done in my life. That's something that I wouldn't imagine even doing, but I feel the responsibility uh, to go back to Sri Lanka in their hardest times to help the country, to help the people, to help the villagers who are so innocent, so kind, so beautiful souls. So that's basically my objective and there will be more and more details either in this video or in the next one but you're gonna hear from me about the project. Probably this is gonna last around a month uh, this is basically the first video I am putting out there just to explain you why I am going back. So again, 
I feel the responsibility, I feel the need, and I feel like Sri Lanka and Sri Lankans needs me and what we're gonna do as a community in their hardest times right now. So this is the best time where we can make the difference. Of course, my first trip was much more fun because the situation was fun as well. Uh, but when I was leaving the country, the situation got quite worse. And then there was like um, um, electricity shortages and uh, oil, uh, gas were becoming a problem, but it was not that um, crazy. But right now, after uh, four or five months right now, things are much, much different. So we are heading to Sri Lanka to run this project, to run this mission. And I want you to join me in, the, in this new series. I never imagined I would go back to Sri Lanka that early and do the Sri Lanka 2.0 but it's happening. We are doing Sri Lanka 2.0 and in a few hours, I think um, after midnight, I will basically take a flight directly to Colombo. Then from there, I have some meetings and then afterwards we need to figure out what we're gonna do, what type of content we need to focus on and then see how's the current situation in the country. So, thank you so much watching until this point I'm gonna show you all the process arrival to the country and checking in um, what are the plans so more than happy to share thank you so much guys for watching and being here so after 36 hours two flights finally arrived to Colombo to Sri Lanka this is the airplane which brought us here how many people was on the board how many 100 and how many people can 196. one 196. 196 but 100 people was here okay amazing thank you so much thank you so see you guys so the last time i came to sri lanka this place was like packed and this time was much empty thank you brother see you so this is a big airplane this is the second area for the seating uh, which we're gonna proceed to the other side Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And then this is the business class area, which looks amazing. It was basically empty, no one was sitting here. Thank you so much. Thank you so See much. See you next time. Bye bye. Time. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you. Hello. Hi. So here we are, Colombo. After 36 hours, so I was in Turkey, in Istanbul, then uh, I fly to Oman, spent uh, around 16 hours or maybe a little bit more even. At the airport, I didn't go outside. And now I'm super happy to be in my favorite island in Sri Lanka. Hello, hi guys. So one of the interesting things you realize when you arrive to Colombo to Sri Lanka. Hello, hello, hi guys. <laughs> one of the things you notice is that there are like uh, home items, like they literally sell refrigerators and the washing machines, um, like just a uh, random stuff for the house, which is so interesting. When I arrived first time to to the airport, somewhere like this. Hello, brother. We're good. Yes, I make a YouTube video. <laughs> hello, hello. Ah, yes, they will come for sure. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Uh, my name Davud. Davud Akunzada. Davud. Dawood? Yes, no, Dawood sure. Akunzada. Thank you. If you write Dawood Sri Lanka, it will come. I have videos here already. Bye bye. So it's like super interesting to see that like such items sold uh, before you even get your baggage. Like you can buy stuff and then the same day maybe they do the delivery. So this is the current situation of the airport which looks like super empty. Uh, there's only three flights I can see from Muscat which is the one I took. The one coming from Dubai and another one from Doha. 
let's see where's the baggages will come. Salam, hello. Hello. Where's the Muscat? Yeah. This way. Okay. Beautiful. Can I help? No, thank you, brother. I have only one bag. Thank you. So these are the gentlemen's can always help you with your luggage and stuff like that. So we go through the customs. But where's the baggage claim zone? I guess it's gonna be somewhere here. Oh, here we go. This one is Doha. I think I'm looking for my destination. Gonna be somewhere there. Okay. So the luggages are not arriving yet. Uh, another thing you have to know guys, the getting into Sri Lanka is super easy right now. So you just apply, I applied for, for visa and it's not like, like you don't get the visa online, you just get the ETA approval, which happens like in two minutes. It's just about the payment. You pay and then you have it in your uh, email that you can all, already can come to Sri Lanka. It's only a matter of two minutes. Last time I had so many documents because of COVID and I had to have the return ticket, insurance, everything. But this time they didn't check anything. It just, ETA is approved, your passport is here. Uh, you don't need PCR test if you are fully vaccinated. So the getting into Sri Lanka is actually much, much easier. And this is what actually country needs right now. Fresh dollars arriving from outside the country. So if you're considering to come, this is the, probably the best time to come and uh, support the country. Amazing. I'm gonna pick up my bag, backpack, and then later we're gonna go because we have a taxi organized as well. So that should be easy process. See you later. And this is the area when you leave from the airport. This is normally where the arrivals gets out and people are waiting. There are different tour companies and then hotels, taxi services. Also one of the best things about this airport is that you can get your SIM card right away. There's for example Dialog, there's a Airtel and an SLT Mobile. So three big providers where you can get your SIM card like right away and very easily. And another and great thing about Sri Lanka is that uh, they offer kind of like packages and in, inside the packages can be YouTube, Facebook, Messenger and WhatsApp like for free of use, like check this out. This is the offer, this is the deal they're offering basically, 65 gigabytes anytime and then all these social medias are actually free of charge. So I got my deal from Dialogue, uh, as I know it's one of the best and basically I need internet during like during the whole stay so and then a few calls maybe and then that's it amazing so I have sim card now time to get the taxi uh, I have it already organized so he will be waiting for me and then afterwards we are proceeding to go to the hotel slash hostel where I will do the check-in Hello brother. Hi, good morning sir. How are you? I'm fine sir. You are good? I'm good. Thank you, you have a good day? Enjoy Sri Lanka. Yes, thank you so thank much. You I'm so excited to be back. Thank you. <laughs> so, we are out. You need taxi? No brother, I have it organized already. Thank you. So, car park? Where is the car park? Ah, this way. Okay, end of this way. Okay, so I need to go that way. So, the taxi will be waiting for me in the car park. And this is the outside of the hotel. Hotel, not hotel, airport. But it's much, much uh, quieter this time. Last time I arrived, it was January. It was like a winter season, but it was packed here. And then considering the current situations, uh, the, the tourism is one of the struggles of Sri Lanka at, at the moment. So that's why I'm here. Let's keep this rolling. <laughs> See you guys later. So previously I was talking about the fuel problem as well in Sri Lanka, which is one of the major things that drives
driving down the economy in the country, in the island. And right now we are on the road, on the highway from the airport to the city center. And this is the current situation. As you can see, you can see only two cars in front of us. So the roads are like super empty. And this is the tulip. Uh, it's what? What's the flower? That flower? They uh, look Towers. What tower? Uh, Lotus. No? Yeah, yeah, Lotus, Lotus Tower? Yes. yes. Okay. You have the name. So this is the television tower you can see in the far distance. It's called Lotus Tower, I think. So it's not a tulip. Yeah, but uh, basically this is the current situation in the country. Most of the people switch to the bikes because uh, it's easier to get around you don't always have uh, petrol and they have diesel but still diesel is also expensive and inflation is another problem as well so uh, obviously prices are gonna be higher than uh, when I was here in January so today I'm gonna pay 9,100 uh, Sri Lankan rupees which is costing me around 25 American dollars to take me from the airport directly to the city center to Colombo Fort. Um, yeah, 25 dollars. But I made sure that I have this organized because there's not always taxis, or they might charge you much more at the, if you just pick up someone randomly. So it's always better to organize it before you arrive here to Colombo. Colombo uh, is the only place you arrive in Sri Lanka basically. It's the only international airport in the in the country. We arrived to C1. C1 Fort Hotel. Thank you so much brother. Sorry, I don't have money. <laughs> it's okay. I take it. I take it. Thank you. So you have to come with me. I give you money. Okay. I don't have any cash, so I need to ask the hotel. They know me here already, so I've been here a few times. I need to ask them to give me money, so <laughs> I can see already a few people. Oh, hello. How are you, brother? Oh, I, I'm I'm stuck. Okay, wait. Nice to meet you, man. Again. Nice to meet you, man. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> so this is my go-to place in Colombo. I always come to this <laughs> C1 hostel. Brother, before we continue, I I need uh, I need money for this gentleman. Okay. Nine nine thousand one hundred. Yes. Okay. Nine thousand one hundred. And then I will I will give you back. I did this last time in Pakistan as well. I come, no cash, so. Nine thousand one hundred. 9,100 Oh, I miss this money, man Yeah, man Sri Lankan money <laughs> We miss you, man <laughs> I miss you too, man How are you? You're good? Perfect Ah, very interesting thing So, this gentleman, actually How, how weird is it when I came here first time in Colombo? He actually lived in Azerbaijan Which city you lived in? Baku In Baku, in the capital city So, he lived in Azerbaijan for two months? Two months, yeah. Two months. Two months. Wow. Yeah. So so interesting. Coming to Sri Lanka, finding out someone living here. What's happening? It's good. Yes. You're happy, brother. Yeah. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing me all the way here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. bye. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So I have a reservation. I have booking from Booking Com. Yeah. Okay. I know you're coming. Yes, you checked it? <laughs> <laughs> so it was a surprise, yeah. Great guys, so this is the hostel slash hotel. This is the living area they have. Uh, I stayed here multiple nights in my first visit and I just love being here. And then, um, can we show the rooms as well where I'm gonna sleep? A little bit later. A little bit later, so yeah, still early, it's 9 a.m. Uh, 9.30 a.m. Yeah, 9.30. So still it's early, 9.30 a.m. Uh, once the rooms are ready, I can show you as well where I live. And also I can share the price 
how much does it cost to stay here in Colombo Fort. Amazing. I will see you later, guys. Thanks so much for following. Protests were happening here, yeah? Yes, all yeah, the in this street. Yeah, this street. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this this avenue is more like a political avenue. All the important buildings and the apartments of the politicians, everything is in this area. So that's why everything were happening in this in this street. So I had uh, zero sleep in the last two days I've been traveling and right now I'm in Colombo. I just checked into the hotel and run to the business meeting. I'm <laughs> meeting this amazing gentleman, Mr. Kushel. Uh, nice to meet you, brother. Likewise, <laughs> thank you for inviting me and uh, giving me this opportunity to speak with you. Thank you so much. So I met uh, Kushel just 20 minutes ago and we had uh, some email communication. Uh, this is one of the main reasons why I am in Sri Lanka to run donation project and I read and researched about Kushil's foundation which he will give you a little bit more details in in few seconds basically we are gonna collaborate together to get fundings to feed people in the villages and uh, help to those who are uh, less fortunate in this crisis period in Sri Lanka. So that's the main goal. We've just been discussing the technical perspectives, how it's gonna work and uh, what we're gonna do with the money and also how we're gonna um, distribute the fundings as well. So Mr. Kushil, can you describe yourself you in can, few sentences? You don't have and... to call me Mr. Kushil, you can call me Kushil. Okay, Kushil, <laughs> Kushil, I yeah. can call you Machan. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Sri Lankan style. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the, actually my uh, YouTube like they helped me to understand this in the comments. Yeah. Everyone calls me Machan, so that's, that's like me. Too. Yes, <laughs> but but I will call you Kushil to yeah, be no more worries. respectful. Yeah, no, 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 you don't. So Kushil, uh, can you tell us uh, about you and also about the foundation? What you do in Sri yeah. Lanka? I know that you do quite a bit uh, to help during this period as well as during COVID. So you've been in this work for a while. So yeah. we'd love to hear from you. I mean, 23 years ago, I started the Foundation of Goodness and. Uh, it's grown beyond uh, you know my comprehension uh -huh. i went out to the village uh, because uh, my father had the means to send me out to the city uh -huh. in colombo and then uh, educate me at uh, one of the leading institutions how, how amazing uh, and then when i went back to the village i realized that there are much smarter cleverer more skillful uh, talented kids out there are not making the same progress yes. uh, they studied more than me who need support, little uh, yeah. bit support and too. then I realized you know they lack the opportunity um, facilities training and the exposure so I decided that uh, I'm going to come back to my village nice and kind of landscape uh, the best I can do for them and probably the two adjoining villages yeah. uh, on either side um, and then you know I was uh, in a very lucrative business uh, uh -huh. trading sugar but, trading uh, sugar. Trading sugar, well, yeah. Uh -huh. So, and then, you know, I tried my best to uh, do everything I can um, from that perspective of, you know, because I inherited the uh -huh. uh, ancestral property uh, of my parents in southwest Sri Lanka in this village called uh -huh. Sinigama. And Sin uh, how, Sinigama. 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 Nice. It's also called the sugar village. Yeah. And sugar I village. <laughs> and, I, I, and I don't know how I got into sugar trading. <laughs> Must be some kind of uh, nice, you know, destiny. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so um, just five years down the line. But before that, mm -hmm. I started this uh, foundation goodness with uh, what we call the village. Uh, Heartbeat Empowerment Center. Nice. You know, so it's only five years ago, yeah? You started? No, 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 no. I started 23 years 23 ago. 23 years ago so, and so last five years? 1999. 
uh -huh. it's where I, when I started, wow. uh, I built uh, on my ancestral wow. property a new new villa. How crazy! And, and behind the villa, I gave a little area to start something called the concept I had in mind, uh -huh. the village heartbeat empowerment center, where after school, uh -huh. the kids used to come learn English, wow. learn IT, the the you know the computers were about this big <laughs> yes. at, at the time, yeah. uh, and then. I had a maternity clinic, uh -huh. life skills, good values, women's nice. empowerment, youth activities, and then a play park. So this is a busing place uh -huh. after school. And then after five years of doing what I can do with the village school, plus you know all of the other two, three villages that I was working in, uh, the tsunami struck. Yes. You know, uh -huh. uh, and I was there myself uh, on that day and um, managed to escape and survive. Uh, the, Waves came at 30 foot. Oh wow! Uh, so my villa had 12 feet of water. When you come there, you will see. Yes, yes. And then the journey began, um, which from two villages today, uh, we are serving 68,000 people from mm -hmm. 900 68, villages. 68,000 people, people in how many villages? 900 villages. 900 all, villages. And all free of cost. But wow. the main mandate of the Foundation of Goodness, uh, as I envision was to bridge the urban-rural divide. Yeah. Because I sometimes, not sometimes, but it's uh, it's something that I know. Colombo is like one country, the rest of the area yeah, is exactly. like another. Yeah, yeah. So That's I want to bridge well. this gap, because there is huge, enormous potential that we have in kids, youth and women exactly. to harness and make Sri Lanka great again. Amazing. <coughs> Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, I am super glad to meet you. Likewise. Uh, even in the emails, you can feel his energy, that how he's passionate about what he does. And I'm super happy to collaborate in this project. And uh, I consider myself Sri Lankan too now. Like so this is going to be project yeah. from Sri Lankans to the and as a Sri Lankans. What you put into the universe is what you get back. Exactly. So, so true. The, the <laughs> energy and the vibes are stored in the universe to come back to you at the time you need it Thank the most. Thank you so much. You know, that's, that's whether we like kind. it or not, we do it unconditionally. But whatever good or bad. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's out there. Definitely. So thanks very much and nice to meet you. And from nowhere uh, <laughs> you came from. Yes. And that's the way it happens to me and the foundation of goodness most exactly. of the time. Unexpectedly, unconditionally, we find someone, you know, of Thank your you. stature Thank coming you. and saying, let's do this together in feeding the hungry. Thank you. So I, I was actually give you a little bit of a backstory. So these conversations went through like in the last three, four days, basically. I just came up with the idea, then I researched what are the foundations in Sri Lanka, and I found uh, Foundation of Goodness is one of the biggest, and you are the biggest in Sri Lanka, right? I don't right? know, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably. Uh, we, we, we do yeah. whatever we can. Yes. So the main yeah, thing yeah. is to enrich humanity, Yes. and uh, alleviate the hardships and struggles of people yeah, at the moment. I know, yeah. I know. So yeah, then mm -hmm. I reach out to uh, Kushil, we talk about the project idea, then I said as soon as I'm in Colombo, we meet and then we start this project. So there are definitely going to be a link in this video where we're going to start the donation project. Uh, if you're living outside uh, Sri Lanka, that's the best idea for us basically. We need to bring fresh dollars from the outside to the country and then we're going to use that for goodwill to feed uh, people on the villages. So we are targeting uh, to feed uh, 1,025 families, so plus 1,000 families, which going to be that amount we're going to collect, going to be enough at least for two weeks. Yeah, so 1,000, your campaign uh, would be for 1,025 families, uh, beneficiaries of about 4,100. Uh, on 4,000 people 4, in 1,000 families. Yeah, see, on, on average. Average. Uh, because there'll be four in a family uh -huh. and they can consume these three items that we have selected for less than two weeks. Less uh, than sorry. two Yeah. More than two no. weeks. Or approximately I mean, two weeks. Less than two weeks or more than two weeks, yeah. yeah. So, um, but what I want to say is that we've already uh, delivered. Uh, to all 25 districts in the country, uh -huh. uh, more than 22,000 families uh, where Feed the Hungry is concerned. Exactly. Besides all the other things that we do, including the medical crisis. Yes, but, yes. Um, you know, whatever we do for us, dies alone with us, but whatever we do for others will always remain immortal. So true, so yeah. true. Goodness is the one in <laughs> yes, that never so fails, true. <laughs> so you're here. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. So basically, we have the goal of 10,000 American dollars uh, to be collected during the one month. That's my goal. I will be still in Sri Lanka making content, promoting that campaign. So we're going to collect 10,000 American dollars, feeding more than 1,000 people, which is equivalent to more than 4,000 so members of the family. Yeah, correct? Like one last thing finally. Uh -huh. Each package uh, will cost only $10. $10. So one so package ten, per... One package uh, per family, per family will cost $10. $10. And in each package, you will have three items. That's five kilos of rice, uh -huh. two kilos of lentils, uh -huh. and three kilos of flour. Amazing. So that will be sufficient for a family of four for definitely over two weeks. Over, over yeah, two weeks, two, yeah. Two, two, Plus. Uh -huh. Amazing, plus, amazing, yeah. amazing. So and these are the essentials basically it's people just $10 need. Yeah. And if you take in the Western world, it'll do three coffees. Exactly, but you exactly. Will need four <laughs> for more than two weeks. Exactly. So if you are living outside Sri Lanka and you would like to help the country, even if you are Sri Lankan or not, um, maybe don't get that Starbucks today <laughs> <laughs> for $15, $10, and then be part of the campaign and be part of the support to beautiful Sri Lankan people during these hard times basically. So again, I'm gonna just summarize the targets. We are targeting 10,000 American dollars to be collected. Uh, we're gonna feed more than 1,000 people in the villages, which is equivalent to uh, more than 4,000 people, like the family members, and that's gonna be sufficient two to three weeks uh, for those families to be fed. And then each package gonna cost around $10 uh, for the campaign to be delivered to those, uh, to those destinations, to those villages. Amazing. Um, I think we can summarize it here. Of course, yeah. it's not only about talking. We're gonna do the work. Uh, and there will be lots of things to put so energy, and then yeah. But you can also see what we have done. It's not about promising exactly uh, to deliver. It's, I, I will it, put the link yeah. so you can go it, it, check it out, it's, guys. It's uh, also about what we have done before. Exactly, uh, is proof of delivery. Exactly. So, like I said before, we have helped feed the hungry alone. 22,000 people and we have our goodness boxes as exactly. well. Exactly. So, you know, thanks very much for your consideration to support us sure. in any way <laughs> possible to alleviate the hardships and struggles. Thank of you so much. All the so people. guys, uh, I'm going to put the link as well of the website. It's called unconditionalcompassion.org and then there have the, all the numbers and everything. They actually updated every week uh, what has been delivered in the last week. So they have different campaigns and as well. So there will be a link for the foundation to be checked like what they have already delivered. Uh, but also uh, we will be working with our goals to add up to this, uh, to this beautiful and kind will you have uh, towards the and situation. And I really appreciate you coming to Sri Lanka. Thank you so much. And <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy and, to be here and, a second and, time. And, 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 the, and the beauty of life depends on how happy others are because of us. Thank you. You have amply demonstrated. Thank you so much. Many Michelle, blessings. Pleasure meeting you. Many blessings. And we will be meeting again in, in, in yeah, a week I, or I, so. I want you to come and see what we have done uh, okay. so you know. Yes, definitely. We're yeah. going we're gonna to record your place and we're going to record how the things been delivered and where the money been spent. So Absolutely. Those, those are the parts of the vlogging. This is the main reason I'm here in Sri Lanka to record all the process and do something from my part with working with beautiful people here to do some type of a help. Even though it's not significant, we are not gonna put millions of dollars, but this is the least Every we can do. Helps. Every Everything helps, helps, for sure, for Thank sure. You. Beautiful, thank you so much, guys. There will be more updates in the next videos. And again, Kushil, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, thank many you. blessings. Thank, thank you. you. This is the area where most of the protests were happening. All the meetings and everything. This is the poor street area where thousands of thousands of people were collected here to do the protests. And as you can see, they also have uh, flags which are representing the movement. And then there are camps kind of on the other side, as well as this side. I'm not sure what are they exactly, but what we're gonna do I would like to do a little bit of exploration, see what they have there. I can see lots of pictures of the people as well. I 
this is interesting. I have no idea who are those people. But it says, people's heroes who sacrificed lives for struggle, you are always immortal in history. That's what it says. And then there's a camps, kinda. If people don't mind, I would like to go check it out, what's happening. Maybe there will be some gentlemen can explain us exactly what is going on here. So basically you can see lots of flags and the camps. This area used to be like free space, but right now there are tens of people are just sitting down there. Hello guys. Hello bro. How are you? How are you? Very good. Life here? Everything perfect. Wow. I have a few questions. What are these camps? What are you doing? You stay here? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You are just like securing the area or what's happening? <laughs> I'm just interested to know. I'm following the news, obviously, and I'm here. I'm here to support. Uh -huh. So I just want to first know. Of, first of all, tell me uh, you are from. I'm from Azerbaijan originally. Oh, yes, okay. yes, yes. I'm a YouTuber. I make videos and I travel around. And yes, yeah. Sir. So you do some artwork here. I can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. It's doing here. Yeah. So you sleep here. You stay here. Yeah. That this is also a type of like a protest, right? Yes. It's like more like a calm protest, more friendly protest, like just stay here. Very nice. I'm here to support you guys. I wish you all the best. Hopefully things much. get better. Yes. Yeah. I'm just interested to see what you are doing because last time I was here in January, in uh -huh. February, there was nothing like last, this. Last January and February. Yeah, this, yeah. This, this, this year. This year, yeah. A few months ago I was here. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. So now I'm just back to see the current situation, support you guys and Hopefully you achieve what you are uh, yeah, aiming for. Last time. Sorry? What you last, time? last time was amazing. So, <laughs> last, time. last time I was living in February. Uh -huh. Things were getting like worse. There was an electricity crisis, then fuel crisis was starting. But what about uh, now? Now it's different. <laughs> the roads are empty, and uh -huh. yeah, obviously the situation got worse right now. But that's true, that's true. I'm sure you need to get to the bottom to get all the way up. So this is the bottom. You're gonna be up sometime soon. I will wander around if it's okay, yeah? Okay, see you Amazing. Soon. Very nice to meet you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. Nice to meet you. So, these are the people actually. Look at this. They are even like growing plantations here. They're making kind of like a home now for themselves. This is so interesting. Look at this. There are people like they have all the tents here, they have a place to sit. I'm not sure what area they go for the toilet and stuff, but this is so interesting. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you, brother? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. You're good? Yeah, yes. I make a video, it's okay? Uh, video, you can go to the kitchen. There's our kitchen. Oh, kitchen. Yeah. I would love to see your kitchen. Oh, beautiful. Finally, someone knows me here. Yeah, you are always... I make a YouTube videos. I am here to support you guys. Yeah, you I would like... The kitchen and you okay, you help me. Yes, I was in Iran, uh, and then I was in Turkey, and then I came here to, to, to be with you guys. Okay, okay. So, I want to understand what's going on here. Like, you stay here, this is type of a protest as well, yes. right? You are just uh, securing the area, keeping the control, right? Um, so basically, it's more like a village now. Uh -huh. There's a lot of people here, and so this is your village. Yeah, so it's a protest. Protest. But we made Call a small protest. village uh -huh. so that we could make a huge impact okay. on the government because uh, government is actually corrupt. Yes. So the thing is, um, there's a lot of people here who have lost their jobs, who uh -huh. have lost their homes, who have lost their family, people. Yes and everything so they came here to fight against the government yeah. and right now we actually won one of our steps is that's where we started this that's called Gota Go Home so Gota Be Rajpaksha was our president yes so he was now our, he resigned yeah, fully he resigned, and then so that was a huge thing for us yes but still we want a more settled government yes. where they can help the country even like to come to like greater heights and everything so right now um, we're still here we are fighting for that. Okay. And everyone here uh, is fighting for. Yeah. So, yeah. What What are the plans? Like, how long are you planning to stay here? Mm -hmm. um, I, like until new president been selected, or? Uh, the thing is, after he gets elected, he might leave this place. Yes. But if he is the same as the president, exactly, this is gonna this happen again. again so that's of course. That's what we want to yeah. prove to them that the uh, people in the power. People, yeah. People, people have the power. 
people always win my yes. brother yeah. <laughs> show me your kitchen I'm All very right. curious to see what All you right. do what you eat as well okay. so they hello hello Hi. brother hello. hello so they created uh, some type of a village here they have big pots as well for cooking people here. Uh -huh. so they cook for all of them wow so that's incredible and yeah what 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 they are cooking here lentils yes. or something um right now this is all rice rice only rice and, uh, this rice here is wow this is fish this is fish yes this is curry so fish curry uh, it's something like a curry mm -hmm. um, we call it apple tail here uh-huh it's really tasty yeah it's really good. <laughs> i'm sure it's yeah. tasty you can stay here for a while and have some yeah i would love to i yeah. would love to stay After with you guys for a this, while I'll bring you here. i would love to yes yes amazing what else you have you can you want to show us it might be a little bit windy so microphone might not perform the best yeah. here but it's we gotta really do what windy. we have to do it's, it's, it's really sunny yes it's, it's really so day. it's cloudy guys as yeah. you can see but it's super hot i'm sweating like crazy in my Short. Okay, yeah, the there are lots of journalists here as well. I'm not a journalist, brother. You know me. I'm just YouTuber, basic yeah. person. But uh, I would I've been, love. I've, I've subscribed to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, can I ask, uh, for example, this food? Like, who's funding for that? Um, most, mostly there's donors like who are anonymous uh -huh. who fund this yeah. thing. Or oh, there's people who can help us with money right now. If uh -huh. they have money, they, they help us with it. Okay. Some people actually cook rice at their house. Uh -huh. And, and then bring it. Yeah, and they pack it and they bring it here and they... And so then they, they distribute yes. it. Wow. This is another kitchen. This is another kitchen here? Yes. This is usually open like at 12 in the night. Uh -huh. For like parata. This is all Indian yeah. cuisine or something. Ah, Indian cuisine. Ah, I would love to see that. I have also big Indian yes. audience. Just give me a minute. Sure super interesting like this is something i haven't seen in the news actually so this is something super new for me that people actually created kind of like village amazing hello brother hi how are you guys oh chef you are indian or sri lankan i'm sri lankan sri lankan nice but you cook the indian food yeah yes i can yes nice i would love to see what you cook is it possible yes this is the chef one and only chef. Wow. <laughs> wow. Everything done by you guys. You set it up the tents and everything. Where did you find even like this stuff? I think you need to pay for this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you bought them, you rented them. Yeah, right. uh, someone gave us. Uh, you, someone gave you. Yes, yes. Okay. People, okay. Donate, yeah. people donate as well. Yeah, nice. So. We have a hello, hi. hi. How are you? <laughs> this is a, they're boiling the oil there, and yeah, then yeah. they're gonna fry the onions, and then they are using the real fire. Obviously, gas, petrol, diesel. This stuff is a problem. We're making fried rice. Yeah, Shops fried rice. rice. Yes. Yeah, and nice. Like special today. Nice. That looks very good. I can show you. Yes. Beautiful. So these are all your stuff, which. Uh, Sorry storing here so if um, if sri lankans like who is living for example outside colombo if they want to support you they can send food here they yeah can... they do send food here. they do they, uh -huh. they rent lorry, lorries and stuff like uh -huh. that they rent trucks and all that and they send food here if they can okay and yeah so mostly it's around here but okay. there's, a lot of, there's some more people out there yeah who like donate all the time amazing great thank you so much for letting me in to your kitchen brother Thank you so much. All the best to you. I wish you best of luck. Thank you. Wow, impressive. Yeah, these are private areas. So can I uh, ask uh, one more question? So is this place growing every day? Are there more people coming or um, more people leaving? What, what's the uh, situation? Usually it's a few people who stay here every uh -huh. day. There's actually... Today is the 100th day. 100 people? No, this is the 100th day. 100th day you are yeah. here, wow. And there's a lot of people who stayed all 100 days. Uh -huh. And there's some people who go to work in the morning, come back in the evening and they spend the night here. Uh -huh, they spend the night. Yeah, and uh, usually when there's something big, like if there's a huge protest or we want to make a movement, 
usually what we do is we we have a social media team uh -huh. and what we do is we make posters we make videos and we inform the people around the country saying that this is the day you all have to be here uh -huh. so last night that happened and that last when, night there was a protest yeah, yeah. Was a, okay not last night on the 9th on uh, 9th okay yes, so yeah 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 that was, was a, the big one yeah there was, there was a lot of people i think there was like um 120,000 people. Wow, yes, that's crazy. So the I know that when I left in February, there was a problem with social media. Things were like blocked. Yeah. And right now, Facebook, YouTube, everything is free, right? Yeah. Now it's okay. There's no usually there's no control when over it. Usually, when we are getting closer to a big protest, yeah. the government usually does that. Yeah. And. Uh, but it's not happening right now. Yeah. They don't have a control over that anymore. We even have a radio room. You have even radio room. Yeah. This is the Argale FM. So wow. So you created people. even radio for yes. yourself. To so, communicate. Yep. And like, so no, not uh, mo not mostly about that, but this is like, um, so usually a radio like um, radio frequencies are done in countries yes. like Kiss FM. Um, yes, yes, yes. Something like that. So this is Argale FM. Yeah. Is it possible to see inside? Yes. Wait, I saw. Thank you for not smoking. <laughs> nice sign. So he's gonna get a permission for us. As you can see, there are flags, and then just above that you can see all these big skyscrapers and then just this is actually the shopping mall itself so it's crazy the area is so important obviously for the government for the investors and it's just been taken by the locals who is in charge who is in power right now and then we can see the lotus tower in a distance there as well so as I mentioned before, this is the area where all the government related yeah, buildings are. are. So let's go, go check it out. Salam, hello. Uh, How are you guys? Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. hello, hello. Wow, you have an air conditioning, I like yeah. that. <laughs> Beautiful, nice. So then you should be handle all those voice uh -huh. effects and all that. Editing. So voice cuts and everything, you yeah. do that. You have guests? You have guests like uh, someone come and yeah, yeah, yeah. make there's a like a, lot, a pro there's a lot like yeah podcast yeah, yeah. kind of there's podcast and there's um are you not in the end and are you press next yeah it's uh, like the like press dialogue yeah. also there. Live video. so there's live wow. videos and all the recorded projects nice program. nice so you are in charge you are the DJ no um, <laughs> usually there's no leader so, everyone's the same. everyone That's everyone is DJ yeah. here yeah everyone is DJ here. <laughs> Nice, nice. I show you a few places. Amazing. I wish you all the best, guys. Oh, thank you. Best of luck. Take care. You, I'm with you. Bye bye. Beautiful. Thank you, brother. I, I'm so glad I met you. Like, uh, I was a little bit careful, like, if I can come and I don't know how no, would people welcome, welcome you. Here. Yeah, you welcome everyone. Yes. Like, the Anyone, reporters and. Yes, everyone can come here have that. Have a lovely time. Yeah. And they can go. But what we always want to do is give them the idea on what's happening. Really. What's happening here? So yeah. this is the school. Ah, this is the school. Yes. You so teach who? You the. Uh, so usually, uh, in different days, different teachers come here. Uh huh. Who actually give us their time and they help us with these students. So today there's a drama session. Going drama on. session. <laughs> this is the drama teacher and he's teaching uh -huh. and all that. Wow, so everyone does their part as yes. a community, as yeah. part of the community. This is a phone charging. Uh, phone charging as well. Place also because the thing is, we can't give current to all the tents. Yeah. So we should give it to a few main tents. Yes. So that they can actually come here, charge their phones, you know. This is amazing. I would love to see your library, brother. This is the library. Wow, you created a whole village and here. Yes, that is not a phone charging place. Yeah, yeah, we talked about it. <laughs> He's the drama teacher. Yes, right? yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a library here as well. How amazing is this? Hello. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. Hello guys, how are you? <laughs> Great, like they created all this from the palettes here. Because uh, if it they, rains, yeah, they keep it dry as yeah. well. So if it rains, then the water goes underneath, yeah. so it doesn't touch the all this treasure here. Wow, super cool! Probably this is all donated as well, like even shelves, right? Yeah. People just bring it and then go. Yeah, they donated all this. Uh, Everything. Wow, it's incredible. So this is a result of three months. Yeah. The village is a building last three months. 
there Amazing. were huge ups and downs. Yeah. And somehow we're here right now. Yeah. And they're happy with it. So usually if people bring food from yeah. home, they usually give it to people's father, right? Uh -huh. there. And they distribute it. Nice, nice, nice. So, brother, uh, I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can stay a little bit, like, so we don't have a uh, too much wind. <laughs> so, who is the who is the boss? Like, who is the in charge here? The main guy? Right here, there's no main main guy, but each tent has someone who takes care of it. Yeah. And uh, we actually do have someone called Gramani Ladari. He's actually like in charge of all that. Yeah. So that's basically like someone who is like a small leader for the village. Yeah. So he takes care of all this and if there's any problems, we usually tell him. Okay. I can yeah. to meet him. Uh, so for example, if I would like to make a donation for the food, uh, like some part of it would be from me, uh, who, who I can yeah, trust. Can and then. Yeah, to, yes. to, okay, yes. amazing. Let's do that. He's actually my cousin brother. Ah, yeah, He's okay, actually... amazing. So, guys, my battery is about to die. I'm gonna change the battery and then later we're gonna connect, uh, make sure that we can record the whole process as well. See you later. And then, what was your name? I, I uh, didn't I'm even. Sadiq. Sadiq. Sadif. Sadif. Dawood. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you so much. I'm super happy that I could meet you and then you can uh, help me to translate and show me around. Right. Obviously, you are more expert than me. All right. sure, sure. <laughs> this is called the Wagner Yeah, I already been here. Yeah. I just uh, talked with the guys. 420. 420. This is where you get high. What does it mean 420? Amazing, people are sleeping there inside and uh, What does this flag say? Kuyat Tank? Yeah, um, that's actually, I think, something to Vietnam that's To Vietnam? For fun, yeah. yeah, for fun? Yes. Okay Whatever flag we have, we put it up, right? Yeah, something that's <laughs> Whatever is colorful colors, yeah. yeah So, where's the, oh, yeah, he's right. where's the gentleman in charge? So yeah, what uh, I want to support the guys here. Obviously, being here is also big support. Ah, you are the boss. Hi. Hi. <laughs> that would, nice to meet you. How are you, brother? <laughs> I make videos and stuff like that. Ah, no problem. It's okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Good evening. Hi, brother. How are you? Good. You are good. Hello. Hello. Where from? I'm from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Yes. Yes. So I just arrived this morning. Yeah. Yeah. You can this gentleman. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you want to come with us? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. We can do it here as well. But maybe we can go. See you, brother. Thank you. We can go somewhere more, maybe less windy, so it doesn't ruin my audio. Less windy. Maybe here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry? We need some capture in the video. No, no, we already did. We talked and everything. But uh, I want to show my support to you guys. Uh, I want to do a donation. Uh, I have like 100, uh, 100 American dollars here. Okay. Uh, I want you... I want you to... You are, you are taking picture? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, of course, the, the, just fun camera only. Ah, sure. My you, work is just fun You should camera. tag me. Back camera, back camera is Ta great. Tag me on Instagram. Ah, cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, ah, it's a video? Oh, video. Oh, video. Right, I didn't finish my speech, but okay. <laughs> yeah, you can speak. <laughs> so, guys, uh, I want to support you with... Uh, the, there's a hundred American dollars. Yeah, okay. So, I want you to invest it on food. Mm -hmm. I don't know what are your other needs, but I think the food is the most important thing here. Yeah. Uh, obviously, most of you don't have jobs and stuff like that, so yeah. I want you to spend it on the food. I don't know how many people you can feed with that, but yeah. at least a little bit of a help actually, from, from uh, my side. Actually, right now, hopefully this is around like uh, 35,000 rupees. 34, yes, yes, it's approximately. Yeah. Last November, it's just uh, 178 for the $1. Now Correct. it's uh, 350, around 350. Yes, yes, yes. So we can buy... Uh, lots of things for the uh, whatever, whatever you need yeah. yeah for kitchen I want yeah. I want people not to stay hungry here yeah. or something so that was my objective basically yeah. okay. I, I wish you all the best Thank uh, you very much. what's your name Davut Davut Davut, Davut. 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 yes Azerbaijan. yes Davut from Azerbaijan Akunzada. Is yeah. my surname is Akunzada. my Akunzada. name is Davut so 
Thank you're you the so YouTuber. much as well. You're the YouTuber? Oh. Yes, I'm YouTuber. I've been here actually in January, February, so I have a whole YouTube series from Sri Lanka. It was more fun, but now this time I'm here just to be with you guys and then do my part as well. We are going to run actually a big donation project uh, to feed the people in the villages as well. So yeah. that's my uh, main objective in the next 30 days. Yeah. We're going to collect uh, we're going to collect around <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna connect around ten thousand dollars. You can see what's happening in my back camera. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> no, it's kind of thing. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's working just front front camera only. <laughs> okay, let's do the front camera. We are taking a picture here. Very nice. You are busy man. You have a uh, lots of calls, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you too. Thank, Thank you. you too. Yeah. I wish uh, you all the best. You. Thank you very much. Again. And uh, I'm on Instagram. If you would like to tag me yeah, or sure. Facebook, YouTube, I'm everywhere. You know me, so uh, it's easy to find. He will. He will give you the details. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. You stay here? I will be. I'm. As I said, I'm running the donation project. So yeah. next 30 days, I want to get 10,000 American dollars collected for the villages for yeah. the people. Uh, wow. Until I can finish that, uh, uh, I will be here. So. Can, can you please let us know before? Yes, it's on YouTube. Uh, it's going to be on YouTube. Yeah. This is going to be posted as part of it as well. There yeah. are going to be links. We can come to the with you for the support you. Are. Yes, yes, for yes. sure. Yeah. I'm actually going to work with the charity here. Yeah, wow. uh, so they're going to do the distribution, yeah. but my job will be you collected. You also came to yesterday? Uh, no, no, this so is my... Someone is came yesterday yeah. and they fi find me, but they can't yeah, yeah. find me. No, this is my first morning I'm yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. This is the first time in Sri Lanka? Yeah, no, this is my second, second time, time, but first day here today, this today. time, this trip, right. yes. First, yes. we apologize to the current situation in Sri Lanka. No, 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 no apologies. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's important the heart, like how you yeah. feel, guys, and I'm very connected with you as well, so I'm here to Because I spoke you. to the lots of foreign people, tourist yeah. people. Someone is, is spending lots of money for the, their vacation for the... Uh, getting some nice relaxation. I so know. This time, I know. They, they haven't a nice vacation. I know. You know, maybe sometimes yeah. no power, no fuel. They have to the waiting for True. fuel. Inflation yeah. prices are going so, up as but well. But everybody is talk to me. Yes, you should have to do this because this is your country. Exactly. You have to take care of exactly. your country. That's yeah. why we stay here for the hundred days. Exactly. Maybe next hundred day also we have to stay here. I'm so happy to be here in your hundredth day. Like Thank uh, you very much. <laughs> this is your like kind of birthday. Yeah. This is a celebration day. It's a huge so thing for us. definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, all the best. Uh, I don't want to spend, uh, take more, more of your time. I'm gonna slowly go yeah. sleep. I didn't sleep for two days. Okay. I've been on the road. So. You went to the library? Uh, yes, I went to the library as well. Uh, and, your, uh, your brother, yeah? Your yeah. brother? Cousins? Brother? Uh, no. Yeah, he's, he's uh, cousin. Uh, your uh, your cousin. Ah, uh, okay. You are just friends here. Yeah. Uh, you know the drama in the Dari, drama we call yeah. for the uh, one, uh, uh, the government uh, yeah. job character uh -huh. he's uh, they know about the, the not in this village normally we have the Brahman Eldari Brahma yes. Sega we call everywhere we have maybe over 10,000 villages in Sri Lanka maybe uh -huh. 10, over 10,000 uh, Brahma Sega Brahman Eldari we have because he have the every information in, in my home uh -huh. my parents name my granny's name and he's the he doing everything for us knows ah, everything okay. about the village, village. Ah, the nice village. nice nice every problem yeah. is got gone to him so you go to him okay out, yes. amazing yeah I, i'm i'm glad you also have kind of leader who, who can yeah. who can who can manage things as well lovely to meet you i wish you all the best and you thank too. you so much for your time uh, he has all my YouTube, everything. Okay. You can, okay. you can, yeah, he, he will and give you the before, details. Please, before, uh, when you go there, we can help you, yes. we can come to you. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Well, all you can do, you can share it on your yeah. social medias. That okay. would be a big help for me as well. Yeah, sure. okay. I wish you all the best, guys. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye, yeah. next time. <laughs> I love you back, guys. <laughs> I saw every time in the YouTube channel's video, the nice foods. Uh, thank you. Yeah, food is amazing in Azerbaijan, indeed. All the best. Love you guys. Bye bye. So cool. I'm so glad uh, I came here. I obviously passed by by the tuk tuk, but didn't stop because I had a meeting. But this time I had the chance to be here. Hello guys. How are you? You are good. Good. Happy. Happy. Always. I'm glad. Nice. You have a beautiful designed uh, tent here. <laughs> yes. All the best, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Lovely. This is the situation guys, as you can see people are uh, camping here for the last 100 days and I'm happy to be here to be with the guys and support them in supporting and then 
changing the things for their country, for their future, because this is what Sri Lanka deserves. This is what Sri Lankan people deserves to have a better life, not to be in crisis, not to think about the food, not to think about the fuel and basic needs like which every human being uh, can like supposed to have. And this is the food distribution they do. Hello, hi. How are you? You do the food distribution here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice. These are these are curries? Yeah. Yeah, curry. Can I see it? Wow. So this is like a one meal. And, and who prepared this? Someone? Yeah, these are donations. Uh, these are donations. Volunteering. Yeah, volunteer. Volunteers. Now we are distributing. Wow. Whatever we have. Amazing, amazing, well done, well done, exactly, yes, beautiful, I give it back guys, <laughs> thank you so much, all the best to you guys, see you, bye bye, bye, so as you can see they are distributing the food here as well, there is some uh, artwork as well on the walls, amazing, I, I'm impressed, by the capabilities and the power of the people here it's just incredible and then before you cross the bridge as you can see there's all tents I think these are kind of like they made the businesses where can people buy stuff oh, there's a lady selling some stuff as well there we have, we have some food here hello how are you guys wow nice Looks good food. <laughs> nice. It's uh, nice street food. Maybe we will eat something later. Maybe look for further what we can find. Hello. So nice. So this is the beautiful Colombo. If you disregard everything happening here on the main road, the city itself is amazing. It's fast growing. It's clean, it's beautiful. Obviously, people are taking care of it more now than the government. But yes, we have, I can see here like they have a water fountains. And then people are eating here. I don't know what they are doing here. But this is not shops. That's, I was assuming that it's kind of like maybe they do some businesses. But no, it's not shops at all. So obviously tourism is also in the lowest right now. If people see the news, they don't want to come here. They don't want to come to the problems, right? If you have a two weeks vacation, you don't want to come and uh, spend it in the stress. I completely understand. So that's why the tourism is down for now. So these are all tents. Everyone have some type of a job to do. I don't know what is this announcement. Hopefully it's not a copyright. So and this is their stage, I believe. The struggle. And then here they're doing some drawings in their body, I guess. There is no victory without a battle. Interesting. Hello. Amazing. I think we need to get some food. Becoming a little bit hungry. And gonna finalize the video here guys.
Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being part of this. And check this out before we finalize the video. So finally, final words. Sorry, thank you. Finally, basically under this video, there are gonna be a link, uh, which we are doing the donations project, trying to feed uh, 1,000 families, approximately 4,000 people for 10,000 American dollars. That's our goal for the next 30 days. Uh, that's the re main reason I'm here to help the donations to become reality. So if you are living outside Sri Lanka, if you want to be part of this, if you want to just support the movement, support the campaign, if you, if you don't financially support, all you can do is actually just do the sharing, sharing it on your Facebook, sharing on your Instagram and other social platforms. More exposure we have, uh, much faster we can reach our goal. So thank you so much for coming, being here until this point. And then I will see you in the next video. So this is the beginning of Sri Lanka 2.0 series. And uh, I'm not stay in Colombo. I'm gonna move around, gonna make a little bit more fun content as well. So that's the goal for the next few days. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for coming until this point. Bye bye for now.